This video is about removing bees from a frame and we're going to shake them off and also use a bee brush. Uh, sometimes there'll be so many bees on a frame that you can't see the comb underneath, you can't see the eggs. Let's say you were looking for eggs, you might need to remove some bees uh, to uh, get a clear view down inside the cell to see larvae or um, eggs. And then uh, also the main time that you're going to remove bees from combs when you're harvesting honey in the fall. We want all the bees off. And there's other times too when, uh, when you're raising queens and you've got a frame full of uh, queen cells. I'll need, uh, need to remove the bees from there uh, to count the cells and then maybe to take them off. So there's a number of occasions when you want the bees off the frame. A sharp tap with the hive tool like this, not hard enough to break your frame. That'll dislodge the bees. You can hold the frame by the end bars, not by the ears, and shake the bees off. A bee brush works good for removing the bees from the comb. Hold the bees over the hive and then, and then brush them brush them from the top down. They get stuck in the brush sometimes and also they don't like it. I don't prefer using a bee brush because it makes the bees mad. Sometimes a bee brush though is a necessary tool like when you're dealing with a frame with queen cells we don't want to harm the queen. Uh, and here we don't have to worry since she's already emerged anyway. But that's how you get the bees off of the frame using the bee brush. Also, if you don't have your bee brush handy, but that's the preferred method you like to use, you can use some grass. So usually nearby is some grass, yeah, and you can grab a handful of grass without the dirt on it and use that as a bee brush also. I prefer to shake the bees off rather than use a bee brush. One reason is uh, you need another hand to, and it's another tool that you need to keep track of if you're going to use a bee brush. It's also easier just to shake them. That's the easiest way to do it is to, is to once you have some space by the absence of a few frames hold the bees down in there and shake them off. There's also another method. You can hold the bees like this and then hit it like this. Just hit on the top of your hand and that will jolt them off. That's similar to removing them by just hitting the frame with your hive tool. A bee blower is also used. Um, and then there's also fume pads, which I, I uh, do not like the smell of the fume pads. It drives the bees off with a, something smelly the bees don't like. These have a cuticle or exoskeleton, so it doesn't hurt them to shake them off the frame. If they land with a thump, they'll be okay.